This video will give you an overview of our environmental science zine project. Uh, to access the project, you can go to your Google Classroom, and there'll be an assignment waiting for you there. Um, the instructions here are pretty simple. You're going to be creating a zine, and all the information that you'll need to do so is located on this slideshow, which I've already got open up here. There's a couple of videos you can watch if you're still confused about what a zine is and how to make a zine. A zine is short for magazine. Um, zines are a way for independent people to produce publications about things that interest them. So these kind of started out as um, a way for fans of certain bands or certain uh, topics to spread the word about their favorite things in a cheap, easy way. Um, so they started off as just flyers that kind of evolved into paper books that people could print really cheaply on a copy machine and, and pass around at their, at their will. So watch those videos if you want a little bit more information about it. Um, slide two is a template for your zine. We're going to be creating uh, eight page zines. And there's a slide down here that will explain to you how to fold your zine. Um, and you'll end up with a cool little eight page booklet when you're done. Here's an example of one if you wanted to print this off and test it out, see what it looks like when you're done um, folding it and cutting it and then turning it into a little booklet. The final page on here is going to be some resources for you if you choose to work on your zine digitally, which I'll tell you more about in a moment. So first of all, to create a zine, you need a topic. The topics we're going to be using are listed here in the assignments page. Now, if you were in class today, you should already have a topic that was randomly assigned to you. Uh, if you are quarantined or absent for whatever reason, you can go ahead and just choose one of these topics. And each topic lists uh, next to it what chapter notes to find it in, as well as what slides the information can be found. You're not copying the notes in your zine, but you can use them as a reference so you know what to include in your zine. Here's chapter one notes, here's chapter two notes. So for example, if you ended up doing the populations category, you can go to chapter one environmental science notes and head to page 11. And then page 11 says selective pressures. So this is the information that needs to be included in your populations zine. And if you go down to page 19, there's some other information. So you're gonna have to talk about carrying capacity. You'll have to talk about competition, predation, predator-prey relationships and how they fluctuate, and then adaptations. And you'll stop there. So you'll be need, need to include all that information in your zine in some way. Okay, So there's a couple ways you can work on your zine. You could just get a blank sheet of paper if you're artistically inclined. You could draw your uh, pictures. You could hand letter your information into the zine and just create it that way. If you're like me and you're not as artistic, you could go ahead and use this template um, and just create it digitally. And then when you're all done creating it, you can just delete those lines so they're not obstructing any of your uh, information. So how do I get images into this digital format? Well, there's a few ways. One of the easy ways that you might not know about is actually using this Explore button down here in the bottom right-hand corner. You can click on that, it'll open it up, and you can search for things. Um, instead of having to go to a separate tab in Google, this will this will make it a little easier for you. So if you want to do photosynthesis and you're searching for maybe a leaf, you can go ahead and put a leaf in, click on images, and it brings up all sorts of images that you can use uh, for your for your presentation. Now, I'll caution you because when we print these out, they're going to be printed in black and white. So if I bring this image in to my zine and try to use it, it's probably not going to print very well because the background is all dark, the leaves are dark, and there's not much contrast of colors. So when this actually were to print in black and white, it won't print very nicely. So what I actually recommend is doing leaf clip art. And the clip art is usually higher contrast, and you'll find uh, some more background uh, black and white images that'll be a little easier to use. And you can pull those in there. You can resize them to fit your needs. Now, one thing you do need to know is if you didn't notice, these are upside down relative to the viewer. So make sure that when you're putting images into pages one through four in the digital version, that you flip them upside down. Now for a leaf, it's not gonna matter too much, 
but depending on your artistic direction, you might want that leaf to look like that. You can add text boxes, type your information into them. You can change the, the font. You can change the size, make it bold. Uh, you can change the color if you want, but again, it's going to print in black and white. You can, whoops, you can rotate this however you want, resize it, and use it however you'd like. Okay, so I've listed on here front cover, back cover, and the page numbers associated with it. So that way, when you fold it, you know what order they're going to be in. Now, you can also feel free to kind of use two pages at a time for your images. You're not just restricted to making one page here and one page here and one page here and one page here. You can actually span over a couple pages. So if I wanted maybe this leaf to be larger, I could actually make it span over those two pages and create one big page. Because when you fold this up, page one and two will actually be one of the uh, open book areas where you can actually see a full spread of those two pages. These other tools down here, if you want to get rid of a background, I think you use this in social studies for one of your assignments. So for example, maybe I wanted this, this leaf background to be gone. Well, I can copy the image. I can go into the background removal tool and paste it. Control V, and it'll remove, remove my background so that when I copy it and put it back in to here, you can now see that it's transparent and there's no background in it. So when I put it in there, I can now kind of overlay it with different uh, things. I could even label right on top of it like this if I wanted to. Okay, so that's one way you can get images in. There's also a site that I included on this tips and tricks page with free clip art library. So you can go in here and type in whatever it is you're looking for. Here's a leaf. And you can see there's a bunch of different leaf clip arts that I could use, 10 pages worth of different leaves that I could use for my assignment. Okay. Uh, here's the screen clip. If you're using a Chromebook, if you needed to take a picture of your screen for whatever reason, if you found part of an image that you want to use, you can clip that out and, again, paste it into your digital version. Okay, so feel free to create a digital zine and we will print those out in black and white. Or again, you can just get a blank sheet of computer printer paper and fold it into eighths and follow the same template here in order to create uh, your zine by hand if you'd like to do it that way. That is totally up to you. Um, and again, if you are at home, go ahead and choose one of these topics depending on your. Uh, preference. Okay. If you're doing the digital zine and you need to print this, when you go to print, it's going to actually want to print the entire slide presentation. That's a total waste of ink and paper. So go ahead and change pages to custom and just print page two. That way you'll only get your digital zine. Don't forget before you print though, to get rid of these lines and page numbers so they're not in the way of anything. If you have any questions, please feel free to talk to me or shoot me an email. Good luck on your project.